that was not the good time to to make a uh, decision for the withdrawal both the united states and not to but but the people the republic islamic republic of afghanistan uh, uh, welcome and respect the decision and there there is a huge improvement in every sector if you see the education the infrastructure and we have the best uh, the military forces in the region but there might be some deficiency and uh, in, in some uh, issue but uh, the government of afghanistan is committed to sort it out to solve uh, step by step there was only uh, uh, when the immediately withdrawal was announced there was some gap or there was some uh, uh, steps to be taken but uh, it happened immediately because the taliban used their soft soft strategy uh, and, and and the use uh, through their uh, alliance and their supporter uh, in the neighbor countries and the regions that uh, they change the mentality of the people and take control in the some uh, district and 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 province and, and district uh, in some provinces but in reality they will not uh, succeed they will not uh, come to defeat or uh, to defeat the government it, it, it will the government is now reorganizing uh, your operation and the the, the land uh, operation and and you will see in, in the few days there will be more uh, and, and, and more uh, Uh, operation will take pl- take place uh, throughout the country Th- there was some kind of confusion and there was misunderstanding and in, in the announcement was uh, uh, happen but to be honest like uh, when, when when this announcement happened and and based on the Taliban to, uh, and based on the uh, agreement with the United States uh, Taliban has to wage and 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 they increase the violence instead to 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 negotiate the peace process in instead to come to the table to negotiate uh, with the government of Afghanistan the the they increase the violence this is against the the the, the Doha agreement and they are not committing for for peace the recent uh, the recent violence command by the Taliban uh, therefore the, the was a result of the fall of the some district and 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 and, and this was not only fall of the district there there have been a high number of military and civilian casualty and in, including women children and the, the, there is dire humanitarian situation and and a significant damage to the to, to the public property and, and, and Taliban are all responsible for all these damages for the casualties for the uh, for, for, for for the loss of the humans and and they started this violence and and throughout the country government of afghanistan is committed in, and, and and right now we have a delegation in doha we ask them let's negotiate what they want and and our president uh, ashraf ghani announced without condition uh, talking to them and and we are here to talk but taliban is not uh, independent to negotiate and they do don't have the authority they are trying uh, to, to use the violence and, and and to come through force people and you you have you have been seen in several provinces and districts uh, the people and the new generation raised their voice they came together they are united and they are supporting the military forces to to stand with afghanistan military forces to defeat the taliban to fight against the taliban taliban impose and they force this situation the, the current situation in the violent campaign taliban have extend, extensively received support of the foreign terrorist group these are not only the taliban there is al qaeda there is etm there is imu there is jandullah particularly in the north provinces these are not on, only the taliban <inaudible> taliban has also benefited from support and assistance of the criminal network those who are involved uh, in the nar- narcotic business smuggling uh, of the prices to human and trafficking these are the things that impose the new generation to to take control and to use them the people of afghanistan don't want to come back taliban
Taliban has not controlled the Kalai now. They uh, enter in the morning to the Kalai now and uh, after our security, uh, brave security forces uh, defeated them strongly. And our West president uh, tweeted that ask the ICRC and other humanitarian organization to collect the dead bodies and send back to the Quetta Shura and to their uh, families in Pakistan, uh, they, they, they are not capable to control any major city. They have control only some, uh, not some more uh, districts in, in the remote area. And they have been defeated in 14 of that district as well. And they have been pushed back from that uh, 14 district. The war has continued, but uh, let me know that Kalanev is now under control of the Afghanistan government uh, 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 authority. Okay, good. Uh, that was uh, one of the dark era for the Afghanistan and Afghanistan history that uh, uh, the Taliban had control uh, over Afghanistan. There was no education uh, facility for the females and there was no one allowed to, uh, the woman was not allowed to go out without men and the woman was violated everywhere and that was a kind of that people was not allowed to uh, do or uh, there was no freedom of speech there was no television there was no radio on there there was one radio channel uh, under the control of the Taliban and the people of Afghanistan and especially the new generation don't want to go back to that dark area and they are but, but